Hi, I'm Bill Donahue, President of the Catholic League. I'm here to report on an update. Hi, I'm Sarah Hahn 06, and I'm here to call you a whiny chump. With our struggle dealing with YouTube, not so much YouTube per se, but some smart aleck from Canada, Dominique, goes by FSM Dude. This guy, following on the footsteps of Paul Myers from the University of Minnesota, Morris Campus, decided to desecrate the Eucharist. As a matter of fact, he did it more than 40 times, and he put the videos up on YouTube. Let me guess, let me guess, that offended you, right? You're a little upset? We think this is an absolute disgrace. It's offensive to Catholic sensibilities. It has no legitimate place in any kind of rational discourse. So we made our complaint to YouTube. Okay, first of all, who decided that I had to be interested in rational discourse with Catholic people? Like, who decided that that was a requirement for me to post on YouTube? Maybe I don't want to have a rational discourse with you. Maybe, just maybe, I find your religion funny, and I just want to make fun of it and offend you and insult you. Maybe the reason that I want to do that is because, just perhaps, I'm just throwing this out here, but maybe religion has become a bit insecure about the size of its dick lately, and any time anyone offers it the slightest criticism, some asshole like you crawls out of the woodwork and starts crying the fucking blues. Uh, the religion dick is huge. It's above average. You can relax. Don't be so insecure. The atheist dick is still very small. And if, if the atheist and, and, and the religion guys were standing next to each other at the urinal, I'm sure that the, athe the atheist would be just a little bit intimidated, right? You know, because of all those rumors about the size of the religious dick. So you can relax, take a deep breath, okay? I don't have to be interested in, in rational discourse with you. I can just make fun of you. That's the beauty of, being, of having freedom of speech, right? I can just laugh at you. And the fact that you would waste YouTube's goddamn time because your ass hurt about people fucking desecrating some religious fucking good luck charm, right? It blows my mind. You actually think that, that you should waste YouTube's fucking time because you're offended. Get over yourself, honestly. I'm here to report that yesterday, on October 15th, I spoke to an official of YouTube. She was professional. She was authoritative. She was reasonable. Here's what they're doing. They're taking steps. The first step is it's now age-gated, which means you have to be age-appropriate. You have to sign in prove some type of uh, affirmation of a certain age before you can enter the site. Secondly, they're going to take other steps if necessary. They're looking into this. It's an ongoing process. They're engaged right now in a preliminary review about what else can be done. So somehow you've got it into your head that it's a good idea to have this age requirement because some poor, unsuspecting 14-year-old might stumble upon a video of someone desecrating a Christ cracker, right? The Eucharist. You're afraid that maybe some 14 or 12 or 13 year old or maybe even a 17 year old won't really know what to think about that and they'll be fucking traumatized beyond repair, right? Having seen such a horrible thing. Newsflash. Ready? I'm going to help you out here. I'm a helpful guy. I try to be. Not everyone is as ass hurt as you are about this. Not everyone has the same places the same amount of value on a cracker that you do. I know it's amazing. I know you find this very insulting and it's it's very traumatic for your Catholic sensibilities and all, but not everyone gives a shit, right? And most people would watch something like that, go meh heh, and move on. Normal sane people just don't give a fuck about your magical lucky charms. They just don't care. And what other action do you think you sh YouTube should take? Right? Do you think that people like me just should not be allowed to desecrate your religious lucky charms? You think people like me should just not be permitted to point and laugh? Unless, of course, we're engaged in what you call rational discourse. No, thanks. I, I like being able to turn on my camera and, and make fun of you. And maybe even desecrate your, your lucky charms if I feel the need. Right? It's, it's good that I have the ability and the right to do that. But assholes like you are so butthurt when you get offended that you really think we shouldn't be able to do this.
on a public forum, right? You, you don't think we should even have the ability to do it. Fuck you and your Catholic sensibility bullshit. I said basically this. If you want to make fun of Catholics, go ahead. Do it in good taste, though, please. No. And quite frankly, let's remember this. I don't really care if non-Catholics don't believe in the doctrine of transubstantiation. I don't care if they don't understand that the Eucharist is the body and blood of Jesus Christ. What matters to me is this. We're 25% of the population. That's what we believe. I don't care. Jews are 1.7% of the population. They have their sacred beliefs. I don't care. Muslims are 0.8% of the population. They have their sacred beliefs. I don't care. Native Americans have some indigenous religious beliefs which others don't ascribe to. I don't care. The important point is this. If you want to verbally attack the Catholic Church's teachings, and that is to say, with rhetoric, say, I think these ideas are silly, I have no objection to that. But what this guy is doing, flushing the Eucharist down the toilet, putting it into a blender and, and examples like that, this isn't a matter of discourse. This is disparagement. He's doing this with malice. He's not making any point. He's simply there behaviorally to insult Catholics. And that's why we registered our complaint. Right. So basically, you think that people who are just ridiculing your religion, right, degrading it, making fun of it, knocking it down a peg or two, you should not be allowed to simply do that. And the reason you think people should not be allowed to simply do that, A, you say that it doesn't offer anything, you know, in the way of um, rational discourse, which it doesn't. But as I pointed out before, some people just aren't interested in having a quote-unquote rational discourse with somebody that believes the retarded, ridiculous bullshit that you do, right? So, so you think that on the grounds that you're offended... That's it. I'm offended, therefore you shouldn't have the right to say things that offend me. Do you understand how dangerous such an idea is? I understand that you, you can be sensitive and you can fucking curl up in a ball and, and cry about it. I don't mind that. You can make a video of your own like you did right then, just whining about shit that offends you, right? And all your Catholic buddies will come along and pat you on the back and tell you that God loves you or whatever it is you fucking people tell each other and you can all just get over it together. But don't expect everyone else to shut the fuck up because you're a hypersensitive pussy. Sorry, that's not the way the world works. It's not the way that, that it should work. It's not the way things should be. You're an asshole. Did I mention that already? Maybe. Did I? This is cutting to the heart and soul. This is the nucleus of our religion. If you want to disagree with it, fine. But we don't want your disparagement and we don't want your insults. I don't care. This is the nucleus of our religion. I don't care.